I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another video here on the channel. My name is Insane Ian. Uh, if you don't know me, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. That's not what I'm doing this week. This week I am instead telling you all about the first time I ever met Weird Al Yankovic. Now, I have to preface this that this is going to be an embarrassing story. I uh, was uh, pretty young and pretty stupid, and uh, and it's it. I don't come out looking good in this story, but I felt I felt the need to tell this story for some reason. I don't know why. Just seemed like a good idea. I'm probably going to regret posting this video, but whatever. We'll see. So, uh, back in 96, I think, I saw Al for the very first time at Hershey Park, which is an amusement park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, he was playing the, th the park. He was, there was a have to have an amphitheater in the park, and he played there. I you know, was sitting in the front row. I had this giant poster board, like, Back in the day, you could, like, get these giant posters that were just black and white, and you could color them in with the pens that it came with it. And this thing was for Jurassic Park. Well, I uh, printed out the Alapalooza logo, put that over the Jurassic Park logo on the thing, printed out uh, pictures of Al and the band from the Bedrock Anthem video, put them on there, colored the whole thing in, made it Al-centric, and I had it in a giant big piece of plastic, and I thought it'd be a great idea to give that to Al, but I didn't meet Al. Before the show, I just threw it up onto the stage, and then some security guard came up, picked it up, pulled the plastic off of it, saw it, and walked backstage with it. Now, I thought that the thing got trashed. Didn't meet Al at this concert. This was my very first time seeing Al in concert. I was supposed to see him in 92. I was living in Baltimore and he was touring for Off the Deep End, and the show that he was supposed to do was canceled the day of the show. Really sucked, really heartbroken. It was not for another couple years before I finally saw Alan concert, and it would still be even more years, about three, until I finally met him. Now, the first concert, 96, throwing the poster up on stage, very important to the story, that's why I did that. In 99, during the Running With Scissors tour, uh, I go to another Weird Al concert, probably my second time seeing Al in concert, and this time I'm going with my mother, my best friend Wes, and my girlfriend at the time. And we are all going to the show, we're all fans of Al, we're all excited to be there, we're all excited to see the show. It's at the Warner Theater in DC, and uh, we're, we're at the show, it's a great show. I kind of hang out in the lobby, and we're like, maybe, maybe we can just hang out here and meet Al and the security guards come up and they kind of say, do you have a backstage pass? And we're like, no. And they're like, well, kind of have to go. Step outside. All right, fine. So we're out front and we're waiting and we're just like, I'm not sure if we're going to like try to go around to the bus. They're doing a meet and greet apparently after the show. And I'm standing there and I'm listening to my friends and my girlfriend and my mother all talking and some guy comes out of the theater with a backstage pass. It's a sticker. It's got Al's face on it. It says backstage uh, and has the date of the, the show. And, uh, you know, I'm curious. So I say, how did you how did you get that? And he answers me without answering me. But he does something I will never forget. And he goes, hey, if it gets you backstage, more power to you. And he hands it to me. This man has given me his backstage pass. It's like I'm holding the golden ticket from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, my brain shuts off, pretty much. I slap the thing on, and I wander back inside the building, showing that I have a backstage pass. Forgetting the fact that I'm here with three other people, and I just left them on the streets of Washington, D.C. as I wandered into the theater. They apparently saw that I did go in. They didn't see, think I just vanished. They didn't wonder where I went. I think I said something over my shoulder as, I gotta pass, I'm going in. Something like that. I don't know. Everything's kind of a blur. Like I said, 
I don't come out looking great in this story, and it gets worse. So I wander in, and I step back into the auditorium, and at the front of the stage, in the front row, there's a line of people, and at the end of the line, sitting on something, is Al. Now I don't see the line of people. Oh, also, behind Al, a bunch of security guards. So like, if I'm walking down the front aisle, the, the, the aisle here, the seats on either side, if I'm walking down the middle, I can get to Al, but there's a line of people, and Al, and security guards. I go around the other side, close to the wall, through the security guards, and straight to Al. And I go, uh, Al? Hi! Uh, I'm a really big fan, and I was wondering if I could get something autographed. And Al looks at me and he goes, sure, but there's kind of this line. And I turn, and there is a huge line of people. And I go, oh, uh, right, sure. Security never stopped me. I thought I was a lot younger in this story until I just looked up the dates and saw it was in 99, and I was, I was 20 when this happens. There's no excuse for me being this stupid, but I was admittedly meeting my idol, a man I'd been a fan of since I was a child, six years old, so wasn't thinking at all. So I go into the line, and I'm just a ball of giddy energy. I think I might have blacked out, but I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm in line, I'm just vibrating with intensity that I'm going to meet Al. And things are happening, the line is moving, and I finally get back up to Al, and I had the wherewithal at least to slightly be funny, and I go, hi, remember me? I'm rude. It's the best thing I could do. Uh, so Al kind of giggles at that, and uh, I pull something out for him to autograph. It was like one of the promo CDs, and I say to him, well, I say a lot of things to him. Most of them I don't remember, because I'm pretty sure I blacked out. I think I asked him about getting permission to do a parody. I had parodied the presidents in the United States of America, as did Al. I did mine before Bad Hair Day came out, and then Bad Hair Day came out with his parody of Lump Called Gump, which was the exact same song that I did, and wept uncontrollably for weeks. Al, of course, had the advantage of being on a major record label, so I asked him about getting permission for parodies, and he goes, are you going to sell them? And I went, not really. And he goes, then don't worry about it, you know? I, if you're only going to get them played on the Dr. Demento show, that's one thing, you know? But if you're doing it more, probably get permission. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And I asked him, uh, Al, uh, I threw a poster up on stage uh, during your Hershey PA tour last a couple years ago, and I was wondering, because uh, the security guard grabbed it, did you ever get it? Like, he's going to remember something from three years ago. And Al, of course, being amazingly nice, says, Oh, of course, it's in a shrine in my home. Placating the young idiot. I appreciate it. Thank you, Al, for that. But uh, everything else is a blur. I'm spewing hundreds of words a minute at him. And I just don't remember anything after those moments. I just remember him saying, well, goodbye, and me going, All right, great meeting you. And as I'm walking away back outside... This weird, maniacal laugh comes out of me, like I'm slowly losing my mind. Probably not the best first impression one could do, but I did. I was young, I was stupid, I was meeting my hero. It happened. It's hugely embarrassing. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, Al was extremely gracious, extremely nice, and couldn't have been more accommodating to this young fool who was meeting him in just the rudest way he could possibly be met. Yeah, I get back outside, everybody's wondering where I am, and I'm just kind of walking in this haze of bliss as I step back outside, and I go, I met him, I shook his hand, I got his autograph, I have this backstage pass. All of that just kind of mumbling out, and they're like, yeah, you didn't do anything with us. Yeah, no, I was terrible. I wasn't thinking, and I kind of went forward. It's not the only time in my life that I've done that either. Not proud of that. I've gotten a lot better about it. But regardless, I told them all about it. We all went home. It was fine. 
I have met Al dozens of times since then. And to his credit, he's never brought it up. In fact, to his credit, I don't think he realizes I'm that person. Or even who I am every time that I meet him. <laughs> Honestly. He meets a lot of people. It's hard to keep track of everybody. There are certain fans that, yes, he knows, because they come to hundreds of shows. Uh, I admittedly have not seen Al that many times, though I have seen him now 27 times, which, if you know Weird Al fandom, you know that's a pretty important number. But uh, the first time I met him, I made a fool of myself. But since then, every time since then, I've been calm, cool, and collected, and Al has been gracious and wonderful. And... For whatever reason, I felt like today being a story time. So, if you have any other questions about uh, my relations to comedy music people and stories that I have, I have those. Um, I sometimes tell them during the reactions that I do, and sometimes I tell them uh, exclusively over on my Patreon channel, where right now I'm reacting to a bunch of Weird Al videos and giving a lot of insight on how the videos are made and comparisons to the original video and things of that nature. Um, if you like that sort of thing, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian. You get to see those exclusive videos, get to see my comedy music and uh, other stuff early, my videos early, names in the credits, uh, like the folks over here, all sorts of other cool things like that. But, uh, and of course, for this video, if you like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more people's eyeballs onto these videos, and uh, next week we'll be back with probably something a little more normal. Yeah, Insane Ian. It's not just a clever name. Anyway, bye.